it's like allergy, uh, an allergy reaction, but it's the real bad one. Uh, I've, I've had it more, more than once. And said, this one put me in the hospital for four days when I was in my early 30s. And what my doctor gave me the sulfur, I took it, and I thought it had a reaction, and my body had all these red spots on it. They didn't even know what it was, and they took me into the hospital. They took me into the, uh, one of those rooms where it's an isolation room, and it had air airway in between. No, it was they didn't know what I had. They thought I had something maybe infectious, you know, like Dr. House type thing. They were freaked out, man. They didn't know it. I got better. Um, darn it, I can't remember what you call it. It's something I say all the time. Um, uh, yeah, but, but it's the one where people carry an EpiPen for most of the time. And, uh, because I've had asthma all my life, I've always been careful. I keep my inhaler with me whenever I, uh, when I've got one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, see, I got show my legs off here for you. Yeah. <laughs> hey there. There's a joke. Anaphylactic shock is what it was called. I've had. I've had it more than once. But yeah. that one was really. Well, uh, Mark remembers that I got put in the hospital for that one. I was fucking. It was worse. It was almost as bad as when I had pneumonia a few years later. But, wow. Um, I can't describe how bad it feels. That's all. Uh, that's all I can say is I don't know. I don't. for a long time and then for the last several years the doctor was upset the other day because she said my weight has been going down steadily for years and that's not normal when you're at my age it should be going up a couple of pounds a year uh, I, actually I've, I've got it down where my sugar is normal I'm not taking I'm not using I should be testing my blood but I'm not I'm taking my pill twice a day as well. but I had to take insulin for three years I know. I don't have any. And they're expensive. I don't have it now, and they're expensive still. Yeah. I got a safe medical card. I can probably get them. Anyway. So what's your life like over there? Mark's been talking to you a whole lot. I'm, a, I'm blown away that uh, you guys 
guys got from Britain over after all this time, you know? Because um, I remember you, and I thought you were really cool, you know? just doesn't get with, you know, I'm just not like, I'm not wild. Joe's wild. He'd want to have all the women. Take a get off my pipe. Take a get off the pipe, Mark Larry. Anyway, the thing is that, <laughs> uh, you know, like most, I found that this has always bothered me because when everybody else was falling in love with girls when I was 16, 15, I, I fell in love with the guitar. And not like sexually, but I felt it. Well, and I also fell in love with the lifestyle of being a musician, of going out and playing and hanging out at clubs and, and uh, teaching people how to play songs, learning how to play things for people. Uh, it's just like to me, it became an all consuming thing. And I always expected, like in high school, to meet some girl. Well, I didn't meet her. And then I went to college, I didn't meet anybody there. Cause, well, I did meet this girl that was really fucking crazy. And from a really, really rich family. She's dead now, but the thing is, is that, well, Put me off sexuality for a while. Love. And then I had the other girlfriend, and uh, she was also crazy, and she's died now. Uh, but that was. Well, the thing is, is that um, my friend Rob, there was a guy that came up to our uh, band practice one time, and they, he referred to it as loser flypaper. Um. Julia Roberts in the movie uh, uh, with uh, Richard uh, Gere, uh, Pretty Woman, she says that she's the bum man. I wouldn't say that at all as true. It's just that 
of, of the occasions. Uh, I still do think it's odd that, that there were three kids in my one class who were schizophrenic as adults. Three kids in one single class, what kind of odds are there? Well, yeah, because, you know, I was in therapy for a long time. Seven years. That's a long time to be in therapy back in the 70s and 60s. You know what I mean? Well, uh, there's something strange that was going on, I can tell you that. I can tell you that. There's something that was strange going on. I still don't really understand what happened. Except I know I got beaten. I don't even remember so much on my life. I'm so old now, and I can a whole bunch of stuff in this life. Something that happened in my late twenties. I lost a lot. A lot of my memories decided to lock themselves in the club where they didn't bother me. Hello? Talking a lot. Hang up. Oh. I mean, it's too far away. 